Hi everyone, I'm Kian. It's my pleasure to introduce our paper, Deficient-Based Negative Sampling on Graphs for Link Prediction. This is a joint work by Kian and Yun from USC and SMU. Link prediction aims to predict the probability of two nodes related to each other in a network. It is a fundamental graph learning task with important applications such as fan suggestion in social networks, recommendation in e-commerce, and knowledge graph completion. Modern link prediction methods employ a contrastive approach, resource to sampling positive and negative sets for query nodes to learn the robust representations. While positive examples are fairly straightforward, negative sampling involves a huge such space and highly false negatives which is a crucial research problem. The major challenge is how to flexibly model and control the quality of negative nodes. Existing heuristic on generative methods for half-negative samples require meticulous design and can be inflexible for different kinds of graphs. To this end, we propose a strategy of multi-level negative sampling to flexibly control the hardness level to our need. This brings up a second challenge. Where do we find enough negative examples of variable hardness? Most sampling approaches are limited to observed graphs, which can be noisy and incomplete. First, we propose to synthesize more negative nodes in a latent space. We leverage deficient models, which can naturally generate multi-level samples at different noises. The overall framework DMNS is presented in this figure. We employ a standard GDN and coder to obtain node embeddings, which captures the content and structural neighborhood information. Next, we train a condition diffusion model to learn a neighborhood distribution condition on the query node. From the model, we sample several output embeddings at different time steps. They serve as the negative examples at multi-level hardness for contrastive learning. The choice of time step empowers us to control the hardness of negative samples. In the node process, the output from final step is the hardest to distinguish from positive nodes, while its counterparts from earlier steps can be treated as progressively easier negative nodes. First, we can automatically incorporate such multi-level negative sample into training the link prediction task. We show that DMNS follows the sublinear positivity principle for robust negative sampling, hinged on the Markov chain property of diffusion models. And the experimental result on four benchmark datasets demonstrate our model effectiveness. For more details, check out our paper at the Web Conference 2024. Thanks.